The exploration history of the property goes back to the uh, late 50s when prospectors discovered mineralization at the Hilo occurrence. This outcrop behind me here, this mineral occurrence was uh, first discovered in the in the late 1950s by Texas Gulf. Um, it was it was a pretty significant discovery at the time because they had determined that the mineralization that they found there, though it was subeconomic, it was at the same stratigraphic horizon as the Sullivan deposit itself. So that discovery uh, 70 years ago has led to intermittent but but consistent exploration of the property. This is called the Hilo showing, um, the original Hilo showing. At some point it got renamed Vulcan and the project has been referred to as the Vulcan here since the 70s. Kaminko did the first drilling a kilometer or so from here. They first drilled the occurrence itself and then put in a couple more holes in the 70s, built a road up to this area and did a few tests of that same stratigraphic time horizon. They didn't find economic mineralization, but uh, found encouraging uh, indications of mineralization nearby. So there were a number of other projects over the years, a number of drilling campaign, uh, campaigns uh, in the mid 80s, again in the early 90s, which I was first involved in, in 1991-92 when Ascot Resources drilled here. Uh, the claims eventually lapsed in early 2000 and Eagle Plains picked up the property and has had it uh, ever since. Eagle Plains has been working over the years doing systematic exploration, not a, anything as aggressively as we're doing this year. It's taken a long time to build up the, the scientific data that gives us encouragement to do these expensive holes that we've been doing as part of this program. They're all helicopter assisted now. The area we're working in is quite remote and quite rugged, so it all adds to extra costs. And uh, we're in a position now with Eagle Plains that We've got the financial capacity and also the confidence to, to do these kind of bigger, more expensive programs to test. Again, this same time stratigraphic horizon that was first discovered in the 50s, but it's been a long, uh, slow process to just keep testing this horizon. We're hopeful that one of these uh, drilling campaigns will, will find the big one, and that's what we're after.